Hello friends and in this tutorial I am going to explain you how we can use the export and import the recipe blog okay so for that I have made one user defined data type UDP and uh, UDT and here some tag is written employee name sugar water tea leaf and cream okay and uh, first tag employee name is string <coughs> second sugar is unsanitizer then water unsanitizer tea leaf and cream is real okay so let's uh, add the block so here i will add the program cycle block and i will add okay It's taking some time. Okay. Okay, the main OB is created. And uh, uh, here I will add one data block, cell DB. And uh, I will change the name. I will say recipe underscore db okay that is the name and here i will also add another uh, we can say cell db for the text and i will say text underscore recipe okay so here main two text is created now let's go to the main block and in the main block here is the recipe and data logging so here i will uh, drag and drop this block recipe export okay and it is asking for the instant block so here instance will clear it in the system block you can see here db3 recipe export db now here one of the most important things that we have to create this alt tag and also recipe variant so for that you can also check the help okay so meanwhile i will open that first of all let's create the recipe db okay so here i will define products products and uh, in the products we have to define array of uh, the t so first of all here you can see here i will define array of t one three and here let's try browse array of t and you can see here we have a main three array we have defined okay now let's go to the tag recipe and here i will define the tag so here the tag name will be recipe export and in the recipe export uh, i will define uh, all the input output tag recipe export okay and this must be a structure so here all the other tag we will define here okay so first of all let's me define the req means the request req then uh, done bit req done bc error handle status okay uh, this status is not boolean this one is word 
okay so our recipe export block is created here and we will use this tag into the uh, programming block so now it's very easy for us let's open the tag menu and just drag and drop here okay let's open this one done then busy L and uh, this one is word okay and now let's open the main products so I will just drag and drop here okay so our input and output tag is connected now we have to just compile it okay so you can see all the tags is look okay <coughs> now <coughs> we will transport uh, we will export our uh, recipe tag file this one this file this all the tags will be available to the internet explorer okay in the form of dot cv uh, csv okay so how we can transfer this we can transfer this recipe of the t for the different different employee with the use of with the use of uh, internet explorer so for that you have to go to the device configuration how to enable the web server i am going to explain you uh, there is a three or four techniques here in the properties here you can go to the profilate interface in the profilate interface and go to the very last op uh, option web server access so here you have to take this one enable web server using this interface and you have to go here this web server and you have to take all this one and you have to create one password okay and the access level must be administrative okay this one you have to provide the password and uh, username now our all thing is created let's compile it let's download it and i hope it must be worth and here the recipe export you can see here uh these are the help menu and how you can create the uh, you can say the which data type is valid and which data type is not valid it is available here secondly uh, there is an example is also given here how you can create in the later okay and how to create the csv file for the import purpose structure of recipe db okay you can create this one okay this is the recipe export csv uh, okay now let's download the program let's reinitialize all this one let's load it let's finish it okay now let's go to the main and go online okay now here i will open the internet explorer Okay, Internet Explorer. Here you have to write the IP address of the PLC and before that you have to write https
192.168.2.10 is the IP address of my PLC and you can see right now I am online this is the certificate you can download for this PLC so you can download the certificate and save it somewhere okay and you can install it before that we are not going there we will enter into the PLC and I will add the username and password my username password is already registered here I have to go here in the file browser and I have to go to the recipe so you can see here already one recipe uh, file is there CSV file is there okay and the time change is 10 53 12 a.m. okay and right now 2 44 57 p.m. is the time so if I am executing my instruction this time will be changed and uh, this time will be taken place here so let's go there and let's google this first bit and my recipe export command is done so let's go here yes okay so i have command something for export the file of the recipe data block and uh, it will be converted to csv and transfer to the internet explorer so we will check that this change or not so me unfortunately it is not changed here I have to check something which uh, where is the issue sometimes uh, communication load is too much then it will not uh, update so we have to check that Is taking some time let's go offline my internet explorer is right now uh, not uh, re uh, responding so I will uh, post the video so you can see here right now my uh, right now my we can say uh, file is changed and it is the exact time here and uh, there because of my internet explorer is not responding that's why the reason it's happened so if i download program it's it will open and it will take some time okay so this is the way you can export the file So you can see my exported file is right now available here all the data is 0 0 0 because we have not added any data into the data block so now what we will do is we will go here into the recipe data block and here I will open all this and I will go offline and I will add the value something here. I'll say A 10 20 <coughs> 3.4 2.1 B 10 30 
5.1 Sí Alias 1.2 Ok So here you can see all the data I have added Now let's download this one So see this is the starting value let's finish it okay now let's go to the main let's go online and let's say google let's say finish okay so it is 252 and you can see here 252 so if i open this recipe file Say I allow. Okay, and you can see here right now all the data is coming into the CSV format. Employee name, sugar, water, tea leaf, and cream. Okay, employee name A B C sugar 10 10 40. So all this data is coming perfectly from the recipe data block. So our recipe export program is working perfectly. Okay. Now in the next tutorial, I'm going to explain you how we can import the file from the PC to the PLC. Okay. So till then, uh, revise this tutorial. I hope you have liked this tutorial. If you have a question, you can ask me. Okay, thanks.